So you're thinking about buying a new audio interface and you've decided you like what Focusrite has to offer. However, you're not sure whether to go for a Scarlet or a Claret. So what's the difference between them? Well, stick around and I'll show you in just a moment. When it comes to manufacturing quality audio gear, Focusrite have an amazing track record spanning three decades, and the Claret and Scarlet series audio interfaces continue with that legendary quality at an accessible price. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Focusrite Scarlet 4i4 and the Claret 2 pre-USB, which we've chosen because of their similar I.O. configuration. So, what are the main differences between Scarlet and Claret series other than their shades of red, and why might you choose one over the other? Well, at first glance, these two units appear very similar, certainly as far as the front panel is concerned. Both feature two combi jack inputs with gain controls, both have a headphone output with monitor and headphone control pots. One of the first differences you'll spot is the Claret features individual 48 volt switches for each channel, with the Scarlet only having one switch for both channels, which is really the first indication that the Claret perhaps has some more superior audio features. Both series feature their own unique mic preamps, with the Clarets having an increased dynamic range across all inputs and outputs, and on the mic inputs, 119 dB A weighted for the Claret and 111 dB A weighted on the Scarlet. It's also important to note that the Claret has a flat frequency response of up to 35 kHz, and with the Scarlet, it's up to 20 kHz. A feature that was recently introduced to the Scarlet third generation is the air mode, which gives your guitars and vocals an instantly brighter and more spacious sound that can make all the difference in the mix. The air mode emulates the technology of the same name from the legendary ISA preamp, which on the Claret is more sophisticated by changing the impedance of its preamp, resulting in new color to the sound of the mic, as well as adding high-end detail with the air EQ boost. Physically, the Claret features a brushed metal front, which makes the device feel like a high-end audio product. And side by side, the Claret is bigger than the Scarlet due to an additional input and power switch. Overall, both units have a polished appearance, are rugged enough for portability and sustained use, and you certainly won't feel short-changed. Finally, there is the bundled software. And as you can see, there are a couple of subtle differences. Most notably, the inclusion of Brainworks BX console Focusrite SC, which faithfully captures the sound and style of the original Focusrite ISA110 equalizer and ISA130 dynamic modules. Overall, the Claret series does offer better quality audio, which for some makes it a more appealing choice. However, the Scarlet still delivers that quality you would expect from Focusrite, and it's more than capable of delivering a polished result. It's also worth noting that if you're new to the world of recording, the Scarlet comes with an easy start tool, which takes you all the way from registering the product to getting it completely set up and ready to start making music. At the end of the day, it comes down to budget and whether the additional expense is worth spending on your interface or maybe another piece of equipment or software. We've used the Scarlet 2i2 Studio Bundle for recording the voiceover on this video to give you an idea of how it sounds and performs. So if you want to find out more information, head on over to studiospares.com and thanks for watching.